Okay, so it's been brought to my attention that on the uh, site, the Oculus DB site to get APKs and downgrade, um, it's now just recommending people to use Quest app, app version switcher. Um, I was originally just going to make this guide showing you how to downgrade, but I've decided to make a full guide, a new one for 2024 um, that lets you downgrade install bmbf and mod all through the the quest and quest 2 possibly quest 3 i don't have one i haven't tried it i don't think it's quite official yet so you can give it a whirl if you have a quest 3 but um yeah this is on quest 2 for now um so and, and this will also be installing side quest on the headset as well uh, so let's jump in because there's a little bit to cover um and let me just say, before you start this process, if you don't have a side quest account, get one set up first and get logged in in your quest browser on your headset. It will make this sort of process easier because we'll be needing that browser tab later on. Uh, so yeah, as you can see here, I'm side in, signed into side quest uh, inside the quest and then I have the tab ready here. Just keep that open and leave it for now. Um, the next tab we'll be needing is uh, this GitHub SideQuest VR Lite releases, um, and if you just go into your browser and search uh, SideQuest uh, Lite GitHub, then Google should just crack it, and it's this releases SideQuest VR Lite. So click on that. Uh, and then you want the app release APK, just click on that uh, and that will download it to your headset. If I check the downloads, it's there. There's another same version I've downloaded previously. Um, so once that's done, we can forget about that and just pop that back onto SideQuest. Uh, and what we'll do is drag this browser over to the left hand side, drop it there for now because we'll need that later. The next thing, we'll go to the store uh, and you want to search for this down mobile VR station uh, this is an app lab um, app <laughs> uh, so it doesn't appear normally but if you just search the full name it'll come up uh, click on that and you'll always have this message about app lab but get rid of that install it I've already installed it just to save some time basically um, so the next thing we're going to do is start that and I think it comes up with splash screen and then there's like a little tutorial thingy that comes up I, I've, I've installed this previously but it, it came up with a few things but there's a little button that appears um, down at the bottom you can just click on so anyway once we're on here we just want to go to this configuration wizard with the blue cog show all options configure scoped storage and then the first one step one request access uh, and we're just doing this so we can access the file system, basically. Uh, then you want to go to standalone HMD, go to your downloads, uh, and then the APK. Click the little um, expansion arrows in the corner, and that will just start the install process for the APK. Because um, if you go to just your downloads on your headset, it won't install, so you need to do it through this application. Uh, blah 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 typical stuff just click continue and then click install uh, and now that's installed side quest on the headset so we'll click in fact we can just close this whole thing off now um, I've noticed every time I close that it seems to crash anyway but it doesn't really matter once it's done its job we don't really care um, so the next thing we want to go to the library and you want to go to this box at the top if you if you're on all applications click on that unknown sources uh, and we can now see side quest is there so we're going to click on that and this is why we needed the tab open earlier so remember the number uh, and then go over to your browser tab and on the top corner your user icon click on that and right at the bottom there is link my side quest uh, and then we've got the four numbers to enter here so it's five one five six seven eight three. five one five six seven eight. 
Okay, and then we're just going to click link. And that should be done in a couple of seconds. This should just pop up with my side quest account. So I'll just give it a few seconds. And there we go. Um, so just click allow here. Uh, and that's it. Next, we are going to search for uh, quest app version switcher, which, which is the what the Oculus DB site is recommending people use now. Um, so instead of typing that in, you can just type Q A V S, and here's quest app version switcher. Click on that. Uh, just click this accept bubble, and then click side load. Uh, and that will start loading in, installing APK, uh, click settings, settings, it seems to ask you twice for some reason. And toggle this on, allow from this source, and click back. Uh, and then install again. And once that is installed, just takes a couple of seconds. QAVS is installed successfully, uh, so we're going to move SideQuest over to this side now. Um, so we're going to go to um, Unknown Sources again, and now you can see Quest App Version Switcher. We're going to open that. Uh, and I forgot one thing, I'm just going to pause the video here and do it. Uh, because what I did was delete everything, including Beat Saber, and I forgot to reinstall Beat Saber. So I'll pause the video here, reinstall Beat Saber, and we'll come back to this, and then we'll do the downgrade process. Okay, so Beat Saber is now installed, um, and uh, even though I'd installed this previously, I tried to uninstall it to show you the first part again, but. All you do is accept some permissions and you end up on this page. It's, it's, you don't really need to see it. It's self-explanatory. Um, so once you get to this setup assistant, it'll be um, Beat Saber modding will be selected as default. Uh, so you want to click Start. Um, and again, because I'd done it previously to test it out, um, this will say something like you're on 1.342 or something. Um, and it will then down, give you the option to download 1.28, but because I've already done that, it's, it's all, sort of here. But again, it's self-explanatory. But after that, you'll be on this page, and you'll click Mod My Game, um, and then what you will do is see the status bar, uh, copy an APK, this can take a bit, um, this can take quite a while, or it can be quick. The first time I did it, it was quick, but it seems to be taking a bit longer. Uh, the second time around. Uh, so I'm going to skip ahead and then we'll continue with the rest of this. Okay, so that's finished finally. I think it was taking me a bit longer maybe because I'm recording um, as I was just testing it out previously without recording. Anyway, your game is almost modded. Press install game below and follow the instructions to finish modding your game. Install game. Uh, step one, blah, 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 blah. Basically, just click start uninstall. And this again continue or oh, okay continue install grant access install app staging app again with all these things like it constantly asks you to grant access and stuff so Whenever you see stuff like that, it'll occasionally pop up, you have to toggle it on, it'll reload the same thing you've just done, and then you kind of go through it again. Once you've done modding for a while, you get very used to these sort of pop-ups and notifications. Um, so this is just staging the app now, should only take a few seconds, uh, but if this takes too long, I'll skip it along. Okay, so for your security, your phone is currently, and again, just what I was saying before, settings. Click it a couple of times. It might pop up with a grant access toggle again. Trying to pop it up, there we go. Um, and allow from this source. Toggle that on. Click the back arrow. 
uh, staging app again and do you want to install install and step 2.1 grant access permission grant access uh, grant access storage permission grant access uh, and on this page you just click use this folder allow uh, and again it's changed up here to um, data so again use this folder allow grant access for the 50 millionth time um, we'll toggle that on click the back arrow continue finished Ugh, right the game modded cool so if we click get mods um it will show you installed mods none there now i'm going to show you i think it might be installing the the oh yeah dependencies and stuff like that um there is a get mods button here um and it does open beat saber mods page uh, and you can download the core mods and it has all this stuff. I tried this though and it did not work. Like I installed them all um, and you know they were showing here installed mods. They kept toggling off um, and it was just being kind of temperamental to be honest. Uh, so uh, and I tried opening the game, nothing was showing in the game. So I would just use QAVS to downgrade and then we're going to open BMBF up. Oh, sorry. We're going to download BMBF through SideQuest on the headset and then just use BMBF for modding. Um, I'm going to skip ahead to that now because I'm going to let this operation finish whatever it's doing. Uh, and then we'll do BMBF in SideQuest. Okay, so we're out of Quest app version switcher now. We're back on the side Quest app. Um, we're just going to go to BMBF. Uh, it's usually on the front page, but you can always search for it if it's not. I'm going to click BMBF and we're going to sideload it. And that's going to install. It'll probably ask us um, to grant permission. Install. Downloading file 2 of 2. Install an APK file. If you want to update, I think this is because I'd had BMBF installed previously, but it'll probably say, do you want to update or do you want to install or something like that. Anyway, BMBF installed successfully there. Uh, so now we can close off SideQuest. Let me close off that browser tab as well. That's kind of pointless now. Uh, and if we go to the library unknown sources, you can see BMBF has now appeared. So if you click on that, BMBF can be slow to load. You'll either get a black screen like this or a white screen like this, but just sit tight um, and it'll load up. Uh, again, allow permissions. Click your back arrow. Okay. And your white screen. It hasn't frozen, just stay um, and wait for it. Uh, again, use this folder when it comes up. Allow, and then BMBF should load up. Uh, and I'm hoping it just shows me all my old songs because basically when you've uh, downloaded custom maps in the past, they're stored in a separate folder on your headset. So even if you uninstall BMBF, Fresh Start Version Switcher, Beat Saber, you can uninstall everything. Um, and your song and mods folders kind of remain there and you can see there my all my old songs are still there so yeah you never have to worry about all your songs being deleted they're just kept in a separate little place on their own um, anyway once you've got BMBF on just click sync uh, and that's just gonna check all the core mods basically uh, I think Quest App Version Switcher did start to install some of these, so uh, they're the same files, I think, so this will probably just see some of those and skip over them, or like the code gen and stuff like that. But just sync this um, and let it do its thing. Uh, I'll skip ahead here, depending on how long this takes. Okay, so that's finished. Um, 
One thing with BMBF, you might have seen my previous videos, but if you're new to all this, um, don't launch Beat Saber from within BMBF, okay? Close that off. Oh, actually, let me show you one more thing, sorry. Uh, so in BMBF, always has this white screen. Um, if you want to install more mods than the core mods, go to Browser, uh, and then this is all the mods. So if you want to download any of these, just click download and then click sync. Um, I'm not going to do that now because I'm not going to waste any time. But then once mods are downloaded, they'll appear here on the mods page. You can see my old mods are still showing there as well. So, uh, But anyway, I'm not going to mess about with that. I'm going to close that off and we're going to launch Beat Saber now. And allow. And we're going to click open app well it disappeared but <laughs> when that pop-up window comes up click open app don't click restore um, and if you click close it obviously just closes the game so restoring it will restore it back to full uh, back to the sorry back to like the the official version which we don't want so you'll get that message usually every time you're opening the game so just click open um, and you get this message usually after you've been messing about with mods and stuff um uh, i think this is for um beat leader or something like that i don't know but just click yes um so let's just have a look at the floor to make sure we're on version 1.28 which we are um and let's just have a look we've got uh more songs loaded mods so i know my uh song the song loader mods in there we're gonna go to settings we've got mods uh and these are the basic core mods um so that's it there's pink car playlist manager all these types of things um but yeah that is beat saber now modded and downgraded to 1.28 um just on the headset